a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. We're going to take a look now at a couple of new ETFs that you may find interesting with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra, who joins me from Zax.com. First, though, uh, we do want to remind everyone that so far this year, the ETF industry is really uh, experiencing some pretty good growth. It's been off to a solid start this year. Yeah. Uh, globally, uh, there have been uh, 96 uh, billion in inflows in the ETF, global ETF industry, wow. which is almost double, more than, in fact, more than double from last year. Mm. Uh, 62 new ETFs have been launched in the U.S. this year, which takes the total number of products to 1639, and asset assets under management to almost 2.2 trillion. So investors are favoring which type of ETF? Large cap, small cap? Most of the investors still prefer those large, simple, plain market, plain vanilla market cap weight, uh, weighted ETFs, mm -hmm. like the ones tracking S&P 500 index, mm. and that is good. Those are great ETFs. But some of the new, very unique and innovative ETFs launched recently, they are also seeing a lot of in investor interest. And today I wanted to discuss two such innovative uh, ETFs, mm -hmm. which in my view hold a lot of potential and could be very solid choices for long-term investors. Okay, so you wrote recently that the ETF uh, arena is growing exponentially. Yes, and yeah, it's an so the the connection here is that the, <laughs> that word exponential is in the name of this iShares Tech ETF, right? Yeah, definitely an exciting name <laughs> itself. Um, it is one of the most successful launches in the ETF industry. Uh, it was launched in March uh, last month, and it has already attracted more than 600 million in assets. And of course, um, investing in um, technologies which have the potential to change the world, change our lives, it's an exciting concept. This, the the idea for this ETF came from uh, well-known financial advisor Rick Edelman, and uh, the, what is unique about this ETF is that, is that it invests in companies that are not only developers of these promising technologies, but also companies that are users of these technologies. So the name suggests that it's a technology fund, but actually the coverage extends beyond technology, and healthcare is the second largest sector as of now for this ETF. It's so go ahead. No, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. It charges 47 basis points in expenses. Okay. So is it the the uh, the people who are associated with these ETFs what draws the investors? Yeah, I think that the names also matter because he's a well-known financial advisor and the ETF was conceptualized by him. So that also is one of the main selling points for the ETF, and I think that has been uh, instrumental in gathering assets. And the same seems to be true with this other one, Spider Double Line Total Return Tactical ETF. Boy, that's a long <laughs> name. Yeah, the ticker is TOTL. And this is a suit, uh, it, it is managed by the team at Double Line Capital, led by Jeff Gunlock, mm -hmm. who is one of the most respected names in the fixed income world. So I think that is what is unique about the CDF. As I said, it's an actively managed bond funds. And you know, bond market has conv confounded um, investors and analysts of late. Yeah. Last year, almost everyone expected that yields will go up, but yields plunged. And in the last few months, uh, we have seen erat erratic uh, swings and yields and a lot of flattening of the yield curve because uh, shorter term interest rates are going up. The Fed will start tightening sometime later this year or next year. But the long term interest rates are still coming down because there's a lot of demand for Treasury securities, US Treasury secu securities from foreign investors because interest rates in Europe and Japan are so low. Mm. Uh, so I think there is a case for an actively managed bond fund in investors' portfolios, and uh, as I mentioned, it is managed by Jeff Gunlack. Mm -hmm. uh, charges 55 basis points in expenses, which I think is pretty reasonable for an actively managed bond fund. Uh, average coupon as of now is 4.3%, uh, 
so it could be an interesting uh, pick for in income uh, oriented uh, investors. As of now, it is focused on mort mortgage backed securities. More than half of assets, I think, are invested in those securities. Okay. But uh, it, it's a total bond fund, so it can basically invest in any areas of the fixed income world, including international bonds, emerging market bonds, and junk bonds, bank loans. Uh, it invests in all those areas while keeping risk within acceptable parameters. Okay. Do you own either one? I don't. All right. Check out other commentary on ETFs and specific examples of ETFs in specific sectors in our ETF section of Zax.com. Now, all you need to do to access that is go to the home page, Zax.com, if you're not there already, and use the Funds tab in the top toolbar to get you there. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.